Uh, I was gonna do another episode of Montreal Monday today, but Montreal is under construction. That's the hook. Yeah, here we come. Hey, here we come. Hey, here we come. Here we come. A subscriber from Germany sent me an email and asked me to cover a very specific part of Montreal, Saint Laurent Street, or the Main. He's a film buff and loves the fact that a lot of Canadian cinema comes out of that area. So he asked me to go visit it. The problem is I can't get there because this city is so badly under construction that it took me 45 minutes to drive my wife to work this morning, which is like three kilometers away. Now some of you are saying take public transport, etc, etc. When you have to do drop off and pick up of three kids, it's not feasible with public transport. So you just have to bite the bullet and deal with the traffic. We're gonna try to make it there today anyhow, and on the way I'm going to illustrate the degree to which Montreal is under construction. <sighs> construction as far as the eye can see. I better get off the road actually. Now I've already talked about these orange cones behind us. Montreal is humorously referred to as the land of the orange cones. These orange cones on the streets cost the city anywhere between 75 cents to $1.50 per day per cone. Now I know this sounds like a good racket, but the alternative is not all that obvious. The alternative is you buy the cones, say for $20 a cone, which might be cheaper than renting them, but then you've got to store them during the winter, so you have to pay for storage. So it's not clear what is more cost effective as far as the alternatives go, but just bear in mind, count it like a ching, ching, ching in your head every time you see an orange cone. A buck fifty, three bucks, four fifty, and they are everywhere. I think the ultimate solution is finding a solution to the orange cones. Maybe like a wooden stick? Awesome. How you doing? How you doing? Will you sniff my camera? There you go. Thank yeah, you. you don't want them running out into traffic. That's for sure. <laughs> right. Thank you. No problem, see ya. There is something humorously ridiculous about this sign. Alright, so the iconic movie that I have been summoned to look into today, which took place on the main, is called Montreal Main, produced by Frank Vitali, starring John Sutherland. I've never heard of any of these things until I got the email from this guy who lives in Germany, so I started looking into it. Apparently a couple of the restaurants that were in the movie, the Silver and Frites Doré, which is like golden fries, still exist. John Sutherland apparently still lives in Montreal and is a chiropractor, so we'll see if he ever finds this video. And just so you appreciate how ridiculous it is, Montreal has Mount Royal in the basically the center of the town. There is a road called Camillian Hood which goes over the mountain. It basically like, cuts through the city if you want to go from downtown to the plateau and vice versa. The mayor decided to shut down the street to through traffic because there was a fatal bike accident where apparently a biker who was biking over the mountain was bombing down. Someone took a left turn where they were not allowed to. Accident, biker dead. They've closed it now to through traffic and it's causing chaos. So the, basically the two major roads to get from downtown to the plateau to McGill are blocked off. Everybody's being rerouted down to one road in particular, Sherbrooke, which is bumper to bumper traffic. We'll see if we can get there later on today. And that is the lowdown on the horrible construction situation, at least in downtown Montreal. Oh, look at this. Here is a warning that we are going from four lanes to three lanes. Now we're going from three lanes to two lanes. Two lanes to one lane, and I think you all see where the punchline is going on this one. Now we're down to no more lanes. Rue Barre means blocked off street. It does not mean bitterly regret Barry. I'll give everyone like 10 seconds to get that awesome joke. Okay, time's up. There's a French Bulldog. I must see the French Bulldog. Can, can I see your dog this one? You, you, come here, come say hi to me. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, you're cute too, but I like you better. Are we going with it? Yeah, absolutely. How are you doing, little friend? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> This is part of the McGill campus. It's quite beautiful. Does anyone mind being in the video? So we're oh, we're, oh, well, I was going to ask you, what do you think of the construction in this wonderful city? I don't know. I'm not from here. Oh, right. we're just, we just landed. We're, 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 where are you from? I'm from Newfoundland. We're just trying to no find way. the gym. Yeah. I've been to Newfoundland. We drove, yeah. literally, no joke, we drove from Montreal to Porto Basque. Yeah. Yeah. Then we drove to St. John's, back to Porto Basque because we couldn't right. get on the ferry from St. John's. Um, are you going to McGill? We're no. going to Nava. 
going to basketball tournament. Okay, so you're not you're not studying. No, where I study. What part of Newfoundland? St. John's. St. John's. St. John's, Newfoundland is the easternmost point of. Well, it's actually Cape Spear, I think. Yes, the easternmost yeah. point of North, uh, continental North America. Yeah. Best place on earth. Foggy okay. City. <laughs> uh, Rutherford Park. Ernest Rutherford was a chemist, physician, discoverer, explorer, and physics professor at McGill. I remember there being something in science called the Bohr Rutherford something or other. Whoever remembers what that is, comment below. But this park is beautiful. Check this out. This is where people play frisbee, soccer, people go ice climbing on the facade there. I don't know if they do it anymore because it looks like there is metal grate on it, but whatever. People did go ice climbing out there in the back. Look at this beautiful. I'm actually genuinely concerned that that person might need some serious medical assistance. No, she's fine. Not entirely sure I understand the meaning of that expression. Literally, it translates into, of the least important things, style is the most important. But that seems somewhat illogical. I believe it's Frosh Week at McGill. Add me on Instagram, Felix underscore Barnoy. Uh, is it Frosh Week? Yeah, it is. Um, hey guys. Is this the pub crawl? This is a pub crawl, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is, actually. Is that a vlog? Uh, this is a vlog. Hold oh, on a okay. second. Are you all old enough to drink? Yeah. yeah. It is Frosh Week. There seems to be a second group of froshers here. Uh, when you see like a really drunk The froshers are a very bizarre. Hold oh, on, guys. Here, subscribe. No. YouTube. No. YouTube, subscribe. Have fun. Don't drink too much. Remember, you can chug on your own vomit and die. It's possible. Happens all the time. This coffee kind of looks good. Is the coffee good here? Yeah, the coffee's well. It's my company, so I'll say yeah. Crypto, crypto, cafe. crypto I, cafe. I don't know who you are, right? Yeah, it's great coffee. <laughs> all right, I can, I can assure you. Where, where do the grains, where do the beans come from? They come from Peru, Colombia, and Brazil. No hesitation. Where are they roasted? They're roasted right in Montreal. It's micro batches of 25 kilos. It's very, really fresh. All right, dude. This is what this is what's good when a person knows his business. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Thank you. Well, you're a mugger. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm making a vlog here. Hold on. So you're a mugger. Yeah. It's a daily vlogs, and I've been doing a daily vlog for almost two years now. Because we do events, okay. So we we have La Perth, which is a newspaper in Montreal. Yeah. So we do we had a golf tournament yesterday where we offered coffee for the guests. Very nice. So that's why we we customize our coffee station basically based on the customer. And apparently, the coffee shop is called Crypto Cafe. But what's special about it is uh, being Crypto Cafe. What it means is basically you can pay with Bitcoin. You can, not only you can pay with Bitcoins, but we mine Bitcoins in the back. That's what the computers that you see in the back are for. This is first in North America, so uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like new concept. Beautiful. Okay, this is the taste test. It's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, let's do this. Hey! Hi. More froshies. Fro froshies, froshies everywhere, so let's all have a drink. <laughs> I just made that up, that was good actually. <laughs> okay. I think those kids just put themselves in the video. Uh, I think I'm getting close to where I'm supposed to be going, but I don't see Cafe Cleopatra. More froshies. This is, I am a blogger, hold on, let me just... Uh, so, uh, Camp Frosh. Yeah. <laughs> I did Frosh at McGill, you should know. Oh. 20 years ago. Wow. Oh, what did he study? Do like uh, an, philosophy. Do like an Very edit nice. where it like zooms in on your face when you say 20 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, have fun, be safe. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Look at this little doggy! Oh my goodness! How's it going? Is it friendly? Come, my little baby. Oh, don't say about some more. Yeah, I missed your call, I'm vlogging. Sorry, what happened? I'm serious, I'm walking down St. Laurent right now, talking to the camera with you on the phone. I'm looking for the... Yeah, I know I need to get home very quickly. Okay, there seems to be something very cool here. Instrument avant. This is 
is a total aside, but something that has always fascinated me, when you can still see the outline of old houses on brick walls where there was once a house attached to. Totally cool, you can see that one there. This is beautiful, this is a beautiful creation. Whoever did that, kudos, I'll look it up. But you know what? Okay, so it says right there, Instrument avant, it's a wind machine. Une création d'Etienne Paquette. Etienne Paquette, I'm gonna find you and tag you because that's a beautiful, beautiful installation. With not a moment to spare, we found our destination. Cafe Cleopatra. Ulrich, that's for you. And as is the theme that I have on my channel, life is not about the destination, but about the journey. This has been random and a little bit wild, but a beautiful Montreal Monday. Oh, I see it. Cafe Cleopatra is a strip club? I thought it was a cafe. Ulrich, what have you done to me? Oh, that's right. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.